So I'm assuming you're in the same position as me where when you're on set, you're probably using either the same camera or the same brand of camera. So you don't have to match a bunch of different cameras together in post because that can be time consuming and tedious. But today we're gonna talk about how to match the Red Komodo to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in a few clicks. Let's hit it. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan. I'm a DP and filmmaker based out of South Florida. So we're going to look at matching the Red Komodo and the Pocket 4K extremely easy using a program called CineMatch. Now CineMatch did provide me this plugin for DaVinci Resolve for review. However, my thoughts are my own. They're not paying me to give it an endorsement or anything like that. I am just super stoked at how well this program works and how easily it works. Okay, so we are at the computer now, and DaVinci Resolve is open. We have the black magic clip right here, and we have the red clip right here. Both cameras are next to each other on a tripod, and they're both using the Tokina 11 to 16, so the angle is slightly different on both of the cameras, but overall it's the same room, same lighting situation, so I figured it's a great way to compare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the color tab, and we'll start off on the red and we're gonna make a new node. It's gonna be a corrector. And then we're gonna go down to Cinematch. We're gonna bring in Cinematch. Then we're going to choose the source camera. Now, Cinematch doesn't have the Komodo yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Helium since they have the red wide gamut RGB log available from there. So it's a good starting point, uh, and we'll do this again in another video once they release the red. Then we're gonna choose the source, or the target camera, and the target camera is gonna be the Black Magic Pocket 4K, because in my idea of doing this, you wanna bring the camera that theoretically has the most information and bring it down to whatever camera theoretically has lower information. So now we have matched the cameras through Cinematch. We still have to go over, however, to the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and add Cinematch to that camera as they recommend, even though we're matching the Pocket 4 or the Red Komodo to the Pocket 4K, uh, to still do the same process uh, for the Pocket 4K. So we're gonna quickly do that. And there we go. Now, you're gonna see they're not quite the same. We're still gonna have to add a LUT, which I'm, just to make this quick, I'm going to add a corrector node. We're gonna use a LUT by my good friend, Jeff Worley from Craft Show, who made this LUT for me a few years ago. And I've been using it a lot when it comes to the black magic. So there we go on there. And we're gonna add it over here. you're gonna notice it still isn't quite the same. There's still a little bit more matching that needs to be done. So first I can tell the white balance is a little bit different from camera to camera. So we're gonna change the white balance on the red to 6,000. Yeah, I, I like that white balance on the black magic. So we'll take that to 6,000. It's also a little bit more punchy in the contrast. So we'll put a little bit more contrast in and then at the same time as well, we'll do a little bit on the curves to bring it down. Now, as you can see, they aren't exactly the same, but for how quick of a matching we just did, I would say it looks pretty good. And I'm sure as I spend more time using Cinematch, I can not only get this to match a lot closer, but also a lot quicker. So I'm very excited with this uh, plugin for DaVinci Resolve, and uh, I can't wait to be using it more, not only on more projects, but also testing it with other cameras. And again, this is really my first few days with it, but I kind of wanted to put this out there to show everybody what's possible using this plugin.
So if you all got knowledge out of today's video, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to try Cinemag, I'll have the link for it in the description below, where you can do a free trial of the plugin for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, and soon they're hoping to have one for Final Cut. This isn't going to be the only video I do on Cinemag. I wanted to do something in the studio where I have the lights all set up so it was easy to show everyone how it looks, but I want to do a few real world examples. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned so you know when that video goes live. But until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.